Hey guys and welcome back to Jay Plays. I'm Jay and uh, I just wanted to make this quick little video now because my second custom map is now gone live and I wanted to do something I didn't do with the first one and that's kind of show you around a little bit so I'm going to show you this map a little bit it's called the zombie apocalypse <laughs> so exactly what you guys think uh, it takes place in an office building where you're at work and the zombie apocalypse hits and you kind of have to fight your way out so there's some story in there uh it's also kind of a mini game type thing uh but be looking for more story to come with updates and possibly sequel maps um so this is the beginning room the guy over there who keeps making noise who's annoying you'll meet him uh in the story but uh yeah it's pretty cool built this map uh a lot of rooms different zombies different tiers i made this a three tier map so there are different levels and stuff you have all this stuff you know i just wanted to point something out real quick because i put a lot of time into this map guys so i really hope you enjoy it but as you can see the ground here the floor is not the same as the brick wall no it's stone and guess who went in and did the entire floor I cut out the entire ground and redid it full of a different thing just put a little contrast in there make it look a little better yeah I hand laid each stone and uh, each brick too so I really did put a lot in this map I hope you guys really like it um I, <laughs> I guess I had a fun time making it uh, and I'm, I had a fun time playing it myself, I hope you guys do too. Like I said, be looking for, uh, more story to come out. But quickly, um, I want to just show something to you guys, because it's something I came up with. I came through, uh, some issues, you know, with the zombies and stuff, and I kind of came up with my own system here for, uh, spawning the zombies so i thought i would show you guys how that works uh if you've played or haven't played the map yet uh but i'm gonna show you how it is so i'll be right back uh with a small little demo of how it works so uh this is what i built in every room this is small scale of course so what i did is i made a box you actually can oh there's one i made a box in each room and what happens is when you walk into the room, you're going to trip a pressure plate. Now, uh, in this situation, I have a lever. But that pressure plate is going to go up here, hit this dispenser, which is going to drop a single zombie. That single zombie w walks out towards you to come get you. Well, as he walks out, he trips this pressure plate, which goes up. Pressure plate. Blech. No, I just said it like that, and I couldn't leave it like that. Uh, that triggers this dispenser which then drops a zombie and as he walks out he triggers another zombie to be dropped and it's just a continuous line of zombies uh, at the set number that I set so I just put some in here so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like I'm going to hit this lever and that is oh my gosh I'm on peaceful alright let's fix <laughs> that um, now I need another another egg here and I need to turn this off turn off turn off you so I can show the people how this works alright so I have one single egg in there I'm gonna trip the lever that then sends a guy out and it's just a continuous hey why didn't another one come out there we go just a continuous line of zombies coming at you and then obviously I can set um how many zombies I want to come out by how many eggs I put in there and it stopped again I don't know why this is actually not built to scale I think the the boxes are smaller as you can see here's a box over here uh, it's working inside there um so yeah that is how my ma <laughs> sheep that's how my map works as you can see there's the building that I built and there's some boxes everywhere <clears throat> and stuff so uh... go check that out like i said link for the download will be in the description as of right now the only place you can get it is uh... my media fire account but eventually it should be up on some other sites uh, i don't know when but when i do know 
I guess I'll put those links down below too. So you can have that. But right now, if you want to go get it, Media Fire, link below. Click the big download button. I actually showed you the wrong uh, thing before. Um, when For my first map, when that came out, I showed you uh, the Media Fire download as it would look for me because it's mine. But yours should show up on the right hand side and it should have some info about it and some stuff you can do. Uh, but there should still be a big green, I believe it is, download button. Hit that, it'll download. Don't forget, it's going to be in the form of a WinRAR. You just pull the file out there, drag in your saves in your Minecraft folder. And that's how it works. If you need a visual representation of that, go check out my video uh, for how to install a Minecraft map. And that should do it for me. I hope you guys enjoy the map. I really hope you do. And I will see you guys next time.